let me show you the SEO plugin that I'm using for my WordPress site. It's called SEO Press, and I'm gonna show you how I use it right now. What's up, SaaS Masters? My name's George, and I'm gonna show you how I use SEO Press. Now, I'm on the pro version. There is also a free version if you plan to grab that. Obviously, it has some limitations. Now, if you don't plan to use SEO Press, do grab an SEO plugin, even if it's not this one, okay? Now, if you plan to grab SEO Press, link will be provided in the description. Now, this is my main dashboard where I have installed SEO Press already. And before I show you how to use it, I'm going to show you the sponsor for this video, which is Hostinger. I'm going to show you their hosting plan and how you can grab an extra discount coupon code. So jump over to hosting, go into web hosting, if you plan to grab a shared hosting, and you're going to view all the plans that they have available right now. Now, in this case, I'm going to show you the business plugin, which is $349 a month, and I'm going to add it to cart. Once you're here, you're going to select the amount of months that you want to pay in advance. I recommend 48 months because you lock in the lowest price you lock in the lowest renewal price and plus you're good to go for 48 months and you don't have to worry about paying again, okay? Now, right now the price is $167, but if you add my coupon code, which is SAS Master, I'm gonna apply it and now it's $150 with 77 cents. So you use that coupon code, okay? Now, back to my WordPress dashboard. Like I said, I already installed SEO Press and I can enable and disable the functions that I'm going to use or not use. You definitely don't want to enable something that you're not going to use. I'll take for example, this site is not for local business, so I have that disabled. Now in this case, I have activated titles and metas, which is the main part of an SEO plugin. It's gonna enable you to add your title, description, your metas for the post type, taxonomies, archives, etc., all from here. And that's gonna enable this. So this is a WordPress post, for example, I'm gonna drop down all the way down here. And these are my SEO settings. So I have the option to add my title, my meta description, social, advanced, redirection, Google News, video sitemap, etc. And some of these will be enabled or disabled depending on what you enable and disable in the main functions. Now there's an AI function that you can enable, but it uses your open AI API key. So do take that into consideration. I'll show you how to use that in a bit. Now let's go back into the settings. Now in settings, you can also enable XML and HTML sitemap. This is gonna let search engines know how the site is structured. So it knows how it connects one with another. So for example, if you go to the menu and it goes to a post and then that post goes to another link, that's the structure, like kind of kind of like a water cascade, okay? Social networks, open graph, Twitter card, Google knowledge graph, etc. for Facebook. Do enable that also because if you share a link, Facebook is not going to know what image it's going to use unless you have that enabled. Analytics, that's straightforward. You can connect Google Analytics, Motomo, Microsoft Clarity, which is free, you can connect that. Instant indexing, I think this is fantastic. You can instant index to Google and Bing. That means that it, once you upload a post or a page, it's gonna automatically net, let Google know and Bing that there is a new page or a post. So that's automatic. For Google, you will need the API key and Bing, it will generate it automatically here on SEO Press. Image SEO and advanced settings, for that's for the meta tags, description for the images. Redirections, obviously to, to fix and let the search just know that this page doesn't work. It's gonna go to a 301 or 302. Structured data types, so you can add data types to content, article, courses, videos, etc., and it's, it'll structure it for search engines. Okay, Robot TXT. This will let search engines know what they can index and what they cannot index. Okay, so for example, if you can, you're going to tell it not to go to any part of the admin section, but it will go to the post, to the pages, etc., using the robot.txt. HT access. That's to edit the back end of a WordPress site. The HT access file. Local business, that's disabled, but what it does, it lets search engines know that it's a local business and it's gonna be listed as the way that it's structured for a local business, like phone number, direction, the local business name, the logo, etc. with this one. AI, so if you connect your open AI API key, you have access to AI. So that means that if we're in this post, we're gonna edit it and we have this option, generate title with AI. So I'll just activate that and here we go. And let's also do it for the description. And here we go. Now we got a description. Let's go ahead and update this. And we generated generated that with AI. We can also bulk generate this in the main um, section of the post or the pages. Okay. Let's go back. Breadcrumbs. So enable breadcrumbs for your theme. This is for SEO purposes. WooCommerce. In this case, it's not a WooCommerce store. But if it was, I would enable this. And it'll give me WooCommerce settings for the SEO section. Easy digital downloads. I have I don't have that enabled. Google Page Speed straightforward just to know what your page speed based on Google's page speed system. Google Search call Console so you can get clicks, positions, click through rate, and all impressions with the Google Search Console. You will need to enable that on Google's site. 
Google News sitemap. So if you plan to launch news updates, you it, it structures that. So again, search engine structures that so you can view it in a news type. Broken links, so it'll scan and it'll let you know that broken links are on your site. You definitely don't want broken links because search engines don't like that. Dubbed in core, if you want to enable that. URL rewrite, I don't have that enabled for permalinks. The RSS, I also don't have that enabled on my site. Uh, RSS practically is a clean structure of plain text. So it's it could connect with other apps. It could, you could send this to somewhere else to automate something with RSS. Or if someone just wants to view, view the whole RSS, it can do it that way. Tools for import and export settings for the site. So you can export all the settings once you set everything up. And obviously the license key for SEO press. Now that's for enabling and disabling everything. You can go through all of these to start setting everything up based on your needs for your WordPress site. But that is SEO press. If you want to grab it, link would provide it in the description. And if you want to grab the hosting plan with the extra coupon code, again, that will be in the link in the description also. So that's a wrap for this video.